Hi, Vice with Jared, a very special Christmas special installment of it. First, we're gonna talk about the Advice with Jared topics. So far, they suck. I got two topics here, how to die while preventing my own death, and the other one's going to be what not to say after sex. In a recent poll, dying while preventing my own death is winning for some reason. That doesn't make any sense. If you guys keep voting for that one, I'm going to have to do it. Put in your own freaking comments, that way I can get something normal. As far as that goes, you know, it's all over. But we're gonna talk about Christmas. Not Hanukkah, not Kwanzaa, or any other of those happy holidays that take like 30 days. Christmas. Because this is all about the time of joy and cheer, but what I'm gonna talk about first is pretty obvious. Mistletoe. What you wanna do as a guy, or a really ugly chick, if you're not a guy. You want to put it everywhere. Walk up to a girl, you can just look up and be like, hey, it's mistletoe. You know, you don't want to break tradition now, right? When you start putting the rod in your back and you have one dangling down and just walk up to every girl and be like, mistletoe, yeah, you'll probably get pissed. Remember, a red handprint across your face will fade, but a sleazy kiss will last forever. So will the restraining orders. Gift giving. Here's your $25 gift. Why, thank you. Here's your $25 gift. Then it just keeps going in a circle and circles and circles until finally one of you dies and the other is $25 richer. Kind of pointless, kind of stupid. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, it's kind of important to listen to this part. When your girlfriend says, I don't want anything for Christmas, bullshit. She wants something expensive or something that looks expensive. She doesn't want you to just go out and get her nothing and then spend the day with her. Though, so don't get me wrong, you still have to do that. You just have to get her a present as well. So here's my advice. Costume jewelry for the win. As long as it looks shiny and she can't tell the difference until her finger turns green, but she'll be gone by then, you have to get her something, even if she tells you not to. As far as being a girlfriend and getting your boyfriend something, when your boyfriend says, I don't want anything for Christmas, He's kind of lying, kind of not. He doesn't want you to buy anything for him, but as soon as he hands you that costume jewelry, he has a job for you, if you know what I mean. As the girlfriend, it is your responsibility to provide that service for him, because he is going to get you something expensive or something that looks expensive, and you better appreciate it. Cody, you cannot, you cannot be angry at a train. Trains are nice things. So, I'm a little tired right now, so I'm about to sit down. Next on this list, wish I would've checked this thing twice. Christmas parties, or as politically correct businesses might wanna say, holiday parties. You need to try your best to stay sober because what they use to spike the punch with is also spiked. You don't want to be drunk driving around everywhere, but then again, you kind of do, and you probably want to get someone else drunk, because what's more boring than hanging around with your boss? If you said advice with Jared, turn this off and go home. To make this more interesting, what you want to do is you want to have your boss dancing around half naked with a, like, lampshade on their head. It's a little cliche, but seriously, put that on YouTube and get more hits than advice with Jared. I didn't write that. As far as kids go, they're all horrible, horrible, tiny, tiny Hitlers. I don't know why they keep getting Christmas presents. I'm not gonna grab them a present and say, here you go, this is what you get for being a snot-nosed punk the whole year. For all you parents who are giving their kids like cars and Xboxes and everything, and they have like straight Fs and they were hooked to heroin for a month, to give them a lump of coal like they've been reading in their stories ever since they were in the first grade, because now they're 13 and still have a first grade reading level. We have a responsibility as far as gift giving, Christmas, and keeping the whole holiday spirit alive. I just said holiday spirit. Christmas spirit alive. No one cares about Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. Does anybody know how many days are in Kwanzaa? Anyone. It's six. If you did not know that, you're one of the many people who don't. Hanukkah. Most people would say eight. My third period class said 12, 6, 16, and three. Eight was not even said. This proves Christmas is the only holiday that you should be watching and having fun with. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frost and Snowman and all that. Back to Christmas. We need to have, you know, Santas, more Santas at the mall. I mean, I know it's a little pedophile to have your kids sitting on Santa's lap, but it's tradition, goddammit. And what do we have in America without tradition? We have nothing. Oh yeah, fat people. 
We have fat people in Christmas. I wonder why everybody's New Year's resolution is to join a gym and lose that weight. It's because you ended up looking like Santa Claus by the time you were done. I mean, look at me. I mean, I'm not in the best shape of my life, but you don't see me scarfing down 13 pounds of food every day since I was 11. You don't see me getting fat. The creepiness of Santa Claus. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. But down the hall came this fat guy with glee, and he put some weird presents beneath your tree. I'm sorry, if you're like eight years old and you're watching this, Santa's not real. Multiply him by I, then he's real. Math joke, nobody gets it. He has magic reindeer, first of all, and magic midgets that people decided to call elves because they have pointy ears, even though it's just a mutation from the inbreeding. He's like, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. He comes out to your house. First of all, you don't hear him land. Don't hear the guy land on your roof. He climbs through a chimney like anybody has those anymore. What about the people in the apartment buildings? What does he do? He would knock on every door and be like, is this 13B? No, it's 13C? Okay, this is the Jewish kid's house. I'm gonna go to the next one. The whole idea of him flying around the earth within a night, he's not gonna do it. Even with the whole, you know, hour time thing where the sun doesn't rise in the same place at the same time, so you have like an hour's advance if you get to a different time zone. Still, the math does not work unless he is traveling at least fast. When he gets into your house, he gets into your house and he's just like, oh, here's some presents for Timmy, Jimmy, Tommy. How does he know all of your names? This guy cannot have a list of naughty and nice. And to be honest, we should all be on the naughty list. Maybe that's why no one's ever seen Santa Claus in their life. If it was from Santa, you would know. Because your parents would be like, when the hell did he get that? I didn't buy that for him. Christmas carols. How annoying is this to have eight people on your lawn? Jingle bells, jingle bells. They've been the same for like 80 years now. I haven't heard a good Christmas song ever. The overuse of tis and thou and we sound like we're back in the old times where we're just like, oh, Jesus Christ, tis thy ha, birth of Christ, yeah. And then people decide to come out with new Christmas songs, which suck even harder. I mean, has anybody heard this Taylor Swift Christmas song? At least I think it's her, they all sound the same to me anyway. That stupid one about the shoes, the kid who got shoes for his mother, but it's like, oh, it's a sad song, it's really nice. Yeah, you want to be depressed around the holiday. I don't know what kind of like sick thing you do if you're a masochist or whatever, but having a sad song around Christmas really just makes me sad. Listening to the same fa la 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 stuff, I mean, what if you're Asian? You can't pronounce all that. fa la 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 Deck the horse with vows of go rails. You can't do this if you're Asian. Ra 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 ra. It doesn't work. It's what I'm trying to get at. If you're Indian, you're not celebrating Christmas anyway. But it would be hilarious to start every single song with, "Thank you for coming to my house." Jingle bells, jingle bells. Do it at the phone service every time. You know what? Shut up. And then they try to get little kids to sing it. I have my niece at home, and she's trying to sing the song. Jingle bells. Uh, she wants to do like. Uh, Jingle, why does everything have to have the word jingle in it? Anybody ever heard of jingle? Past tense of jingle? She's trying to sing these things. She's five. She doesn't even know what those words mean. Just like, yeah, yeah, Frosty the Snowman. So happy, jolly presents. Gift giving, the yeah, Rudolph. She mixes them. And then I'm just like, wow, that's a great song. It sounds like every other one that's ever been played on the radio ever. What irritates me about the playing on the radio is that it starts during Thanksgiving. Who decided that one to start putting up Christmas decorations and songs during Thanksgiving? We should be celebrating turkeys and shit, not freaking fat guys driving around in a sleigh. Stupid tree that they decided to put indoors for some reason. They took all the lights from inside their house and put them outside. And then kids took their dirty stockings, dirty little socks if you don't know what a stocking is, hung them above a fireplace. So that way this guy named Saint Nicholas would come down, touch your kids, and then leave them presents. Another thing that pisses me off, I live in Arizona. It doesn't snow. I've been dreaming of white Christmas ever since I was six. Hmm. I just really took a turn for the worse. I was talking about happy holiday stuff and now I'm like pissed at the holidays. And this has been a very special Christmas special of AWK. That's Advice with Jared. Give me some new topics. I'm out.